Welcome to Baker Tilly Digital. My name is Chris Wagner, Director of Data Solutions. I'm here with Marcus Redu. Marcus, introduce yourself. Hey, thanks, Chris. My name is Marcus Redu. I'm an architect here at Baker Tilly Digital. Happy to have you all with us today. Oh, we're so excited. In our last video, Marcus showed us how you can you can go from having nothing in fabric to putting on your data engineering persona hat, creating a lake house and populating it with all sorts of data in like under 10 minutes. Marcus, today, can you show people how we can access that data using a SQL endpoint and write a query against that data? Sure can, Chris. So as you can see here, we're picking up from our last video and we have our lake house tables loaded through our Gen 2 data flow. Now, I could go back to my workspace menu or in the upper right hand corner, Microsoft has given us a nice little shortcut to switch to my automatically created SQL endpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And notice how the screen changes from a lake house view to a SQL view with my tables, functions, stored procedures, views, all of the different options you would typically see in a SQL Server environment. Wow. So you're saying I can create a view on top of this data too? Sure can. Oh, this is a game changer. Wow. How, how, okay, so, but let's start to something simple. How can I write a query against this data? Well, I would uh, suggest using the quick pick. So underneath one of the tables, you can hover over and see the three dot ellipsis icon. Scroll over to new SQL query, and let's just start with a simple top 100 from dim product. Wow. It generates the SQL code for me. I can just hit run and see my results below. I mean, that looks like I'm working on a SQL server. I mean, the syntax is exactly the same. Exactly the same syntax, no changes in your T-SQL code. So existing T-SQL code that you may have in your databases stored either on-prem or in the cloud, you can bring those directly into Fabric and start using those with your data sources. Wow, that makes sense. I mean, Microsoft owns SQL Server. Why wouldn't they use the same engine and, and syntax here? Wow, that's... That's really reassuring. Absolutely. Oh, so fantastic. as you can see, so as you can see here, generate your SQL code either through the quick pick or write it on your own, and you can get up and running querying your data in your lake house via T-SQL. Pretty powerful, limited time to do so, and you're up and running. Hey, Marcus, I got a question for you. Can I save those queries so I can share them with my team? You sure can. And it's stored right inside the, right inside the, right there. Holy cow. Sure is. Every query you run will show up directly in my queries and you can save them. Uh, or move them to the shared queries folder so that others can access the queries you've created, or you could turn it into a SQL object, whether that be a view, eventually a stored procedure, mm. and or a function. Pretty powerful stuff. Well, that is fantastic. And I can see there's a whole bunch more to come here. I can't wait to get into it. Next video, you, you think we can show the users how they can leverage that automatically built data set in Power BI? Can't wait. Awesome. We'll see you guys then.